At least early morning, the traffic's not too bad. You can sail across pretty well. Now the 50 mile drive. Be at work, start work at five. This has been my routine for a long time now. I always liked Strongman as a kid. You always, you know, watch the World's Strongest Man and watch guys like Kaz Meyer and Sigma Sin and started uh, pursuing Strongman. Uh, the closer I get each year, the more, it seems like the more I put into it and uh, the more drive I have to do it. It gets, it's, it's growing. I want to sit top of that podium. That's the, that's the ultimate goal is to win that Arnold. And it, it's going to happen. Whether it happens this year or next year, it, it's, it's going to happen. This is my new gym. We just moved here about a month and a half, two months ago. This place is about twice the size of my old place I had. It's almost like two halves. We're kind of a regular gym side and then the strongman side. It's drastically helped training. My training typically is primarily a powerlifting and type training, you know, deadlift and back work and different pressing. And now my event training on Saturdays is events of whatever show I have coming up. And I'll train at least four events, working sets of those events every Saturday. So it's, it's almost a full show every Saturday. It's taxing, it, it wears you down. You know, to me the idea is you, you want to go into a show and it not be the worst day of your life. Come on. We got a good crew. We got a great group of guys that are all just as dedicated as I am. They're a crude group and we razz and push each other and sometimes it's, it's a mix of are they really pushing each other or maybe they're fighting. A few weeks ago he's facing the other way. Great to know you. That's what those handles are for. You know, my deadlift days to pull over nine is a lot of work just to load that. And these guys do it for me every week so I can concentrate on just pulling the weight. So I owe them a lot for that. I grew up in a fab shop. My dad's been a fabricator for 50 years and has a, a metal fab shop in Phoenix. And when I was 12, 13, I started working in the shop. You know, I, I learned the trade from him. When I built this one, Years ago, all the guys in the garage call it Thor's hammer. It was so heavy. Now I work for a, a big public utility as a metal fabricator for their transportation department. And I do anything from, you know, fixing stuff that's broken on the vehicles or fabbing new things. You kind of something different all the time, usually. And then and it's, it's been great for a strong man because I can build all my own equipment. Those are leg press, then all the logs. 10 inch, 12 inch, big dog, a red one. That's almost a 13 inch. That one I built to simulate the, the Austrian oak. Most of all the sto stones I poured. 98, 99% of all this uh, strongman equipment and even some of the other equipment I've built myself. I'm really divided with all my time. Getting up at 3.30, leaving the house at four, being at work at five, working nine hours a day, be here at three until six or seven, then go home and eat, shower, change. Kids, wife, bed, sleep for four hours and back again, you know. This year, 2018, Arnold Strongman Classic. A few events are a little different than what we've seen before. Uh, the log's out. Got a heavy axle press this year, uh, which they've had in years past. So that's, that's a little different change from what we've had the, with the, the Austrian Oak. The frame carries back. Basically, same timber frame, but lighter than we've seen the last two years, but without straps. Personally, I'm excited to see that one. Last time we had it, no straps, I won it. A little different than we've had in the past, we're gonna have a stone shoulder, which is gonna be some sort of like natural stone, different than an atlas stone, so it'll be a little different to pick and shoulder. The sandbag throw is back. Half Thor is gonna be tough on that, and he broke the record on that in 2017. So obviously he's gonna be a favorite for that event. And then of course, the, then the elephant bar deadlift. Shaw's always right there, two on deadlift. Thor is, is looks like his deadlift's coming up a bunch too. Everybody's working hard, you know, and everybody's putting in. We're a very elite, you know, group doing feats of strength that only a few percent of, of the men in the world can do. The 10 guys that go to Columbus, the heaviest strongman show in the world. So to be a part of that 
and, and to have been a part of it the last six years is a huge accomplishment. Every year I put more into the sport. Each year I get closer, the drive gets more. It's taken me a little longer to get here because I've had to do it the hard way. You know, I can't just get up in the morning, eat and sleep and go to the gym and come back and eat and sleep and go to the gym again. Sometimes it feels like you're chasing a dream that only you can see, you know, that nobody else maybe understands. But, you know, I can see it and, and I know if I put in more, I'm gonna get there. I'm driving harder than I ever have.